I just made five million dollars. Five million. That's five million dollars the past month investing. As you can see, I have more than one hundred million dollars. Subscribe to my channel so I can teach you how to make millions. Let me tell you about my day so far. Coffee in Paris, surf the Maldives. I took a little nap on Mount Kilimanjaro. Oh yeah, and then I jumped back for the final quarter of the NBA Finals. Of course, that of course. And all that was before lunch. I could go on, but all I'm saying is, I'm standing on top of the world. Hey everyone, in this video, in this video, we're going to be talking about the company, the penny stock, Weatherford, WFT. Is WFT a buy, a sell, or is it going to crash further? That's what we're going to find out in this video and also my future videos. So without any further ado, let's get started. When we look at the one day chart, it seems to be in the very short term, seems to be declining. We look at the one week chart, it's almost up 4%. We look at the one month chart, it's up close to 70%. 70%. This is the high, very high. We look at three month chart, it tells a whole different story. We're in the decline at 23%. And it could decline close to 77 percent just like it did before we look at the one year chart it seems to have crash crash from its three dollar two dollar range we look at the five year chart it's been declining declining ever since over here at 20 close to 22 dollars 24 dollars it's been declining in has been declining ever since, ever since it's got started. This company has been volatile. What's going on here? Can this company skyrocket from here? Should we grab a bunch of stocks before it climbs to 100 and become rich? Is that what will happen? That's what we're going to find out in this video and my upcoming videos. We look at the volume, the average volume at 23 million. This is a lot of trading going on. We look at the one thing about this company is that they've a certain proximity from the personification of redundant axioms presupposed upon tautological repetitions. And enhance and enhance their paradoxical paradigms through redundant innovations. Warren Buffett, the billionaire investor, once said, "Be fearful when others are greedy, and be greedy when others are fearful." by billionaire Warren Buffett. And essentially what this means is when everybody, when, when traders are greedy, they'll keep on buying and buying and buying and driving the price up and thinking that it's going to keep on going up and up and up. But eventually what ends up happening is it, the, st the stock ends up tumbling back down to earth from the moon because of greed. And then a, and people, that's how people lose a lot of money. And when Warren Buffett says be greedy when others are fearful, what he means is that when others are fearful because the stock plummets and everyone starts selling their stocks at a discount, that's the time you want to start buying companies. 
that's the right time to buy. But usually, people start selling. People call it a crash, and that word crash scares people. But really, let's change. Let's change the definition. Instead of crash, let's call it. Let's call it a discount. That's essentially what it is. A discount. That's really what it also all about. So as we can see, the fear and greed index by CNN. What emotion is driving the market right now? What emotion? Right now, the greed is driving the market right now, and the reason for that is, as we can see, the McKellen volume summarization index measures advancing and declining volume on the New York Stock Exchange. During the last month, approximately 8.23% more of each day's volume has traded in advancing issues than in declining issues, pushing this indicator forward the upper end of its range for the last two years. And as we can see, the stock price strength, that was the breath, but the stock market the stock price strength, the number of stocks hitting 52 week 52 weeks highs exceeds the number of hitting lows and is at the upper end of its range, indicating extreme grade. As we can see, that's why the the market kept going back up and up. As we can see, it's in the greed territory. And as we can look at the safe haven demand, the difference in 20-day stock and bond returns. Stock have outperformed bonds by 2.92 percentage points during the last 20 trading days. This is close to the strongest performance of stocks relative to bonds in the past two years. And indicates investors and rotating with stocks from the relative safety of bonds. And when we look at the put and call options, the CBOE five day average, the put call ratio during the last five trading days, volume and put options has flagged volume, lagged volume, in call options by 36.82% as investors make bullish bets in their portfolios. However, this is among the lowest levels of put buying seen during the last two years, indicating greed on the part of investors. And when we look at the market volatility, the VIX and its 50-day moving average, the CBOE volatility index is at 15.72. This is neutral reading and indicates the market risks appears low. And when we look at the junk bond market, the yield spread between junk bonds versus investment grades. Investors in low quality junk bonds are accepting 1.74 percentage points. An additional yield over safer investment grade corporate bonds. This spread is much higher than what has been typical during the last two years and indicates that investors are highly risk averse. When we look at the market momentum, the S&P 500 and its 125 day moving average, the S&P 500 is 1.04% below 
its 125-day moving average. During the last two years, the S&P 500 has typically has typically been above this average. So, rapidly declines like this indicate extreme levels of fear. So, as we can see, the the greed index right here, the greed over time, we are hitting the peaks. We are hitting towards towards the peaks, the peak greed moments. However, that being said, we still have more greed to go. So, if you're if you're heavily invested, this might be the time. To get prepared, to get prepared, to prepare for a downfall. As we can see, that way when you have cash at hand during times of extreme greed, or I mean extreme fear, you can buy stocks and from good companies at discounts. When we look at Victor Vest. Victor Vest Stock Advisory says that in the short term, the market is mildly bullish. Victor Vest advocates buying safe, safe, undervalued stocks that are rising in price at this time. It's made $5 million. $5 million. That's 5 million dollars the past month investing as you can see i have more than 100 million dollars subscribe to my channel so i can teach you how to make millions i have two goals my first goal is to help you become a millionaire just like me my second goal is to turn my 100 million into 100 billion like this video, leave a comment on the company or stock that you want me to analyze. I, over, I go over graphs, charts, news, quotes, forecasting, prices, rating, and reviews. My job is to help you pick the best companies and stocks to invest in so you can become a multi-millionaire. That's multi-millionaire like me. Subscribe so you can become a millionaire and share this video to help your friends become a millionaire too. Don't miss out. Stay on top of your game and ahead of the curve. The world is your oyster. Make hay while the sun is shining. Everyone is subscribing to my channel. So subscribe so, subscribe so you can stay ahead of the curve. So you, you can come to my show. So you can... Flow, comment down below so we both can grow like and share this video so everyone can know how to make millions of dough subscribe so we both can thrive join the millionaire tribe watch this video until the end to win the grand prize it's showtime Congratulations! Now that you watched my video, you are one step closer to becoming a multi-millionaire like me. I have more than $100 million in my Robinhood account. And that's just in my Robinhood account. I have a lot more in, my, in all my banks, in my Webull account, in my M1 Finance account. If you guys want free $200, to download the Robinhood app for free using my link below. If you guys want free $1,000, use my link below for a chance to win $1,000 on my Webull account. And if you want a chance to win $25, make sure you download the app using my link in the description below. Subscribe to my channel so I can go over more more news, more companies, and more stocks. I'll cover their earnings per share, the charts, 
the trends, the ratings, the news, the Sortino ratio and sharp ratio, market correlation, PE ratio, cash flow, balance, statements, net assets and liabilities and many, many more. Just for watching this video, I'm going to give you the chance of winning the grand prize for your chance to win. Subscribe to this channel and comment down below, future millionaire. That's what you want to write in the comments below, right? Future millionaire. For every social media website you share this video, it will increase your chance of winning the grand prize. Share this video on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, to all your social media accounts to increase your chance of winning the grand prize. Congratulations. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment down below the words future millionaire, and don't forget to share this video so you can win the grand prize. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, consider subscribing! We might make a part 3 soon! Don't forget to like and comment on this video! Oh, oh, and check out our last video here! Bye! Here we go, Money Talk! Here comes the money!